Do you sit around and focus on bad things that happened to you? Do you? Do you stay in your room feeling depressed, wishing you were dead? Do you see, does it seem like you feel weighted down as if someone has placed like not really a bag of sand but like a large weight upon you as if you feel more heavy man so do you feel weighted down okay have you ever thought about giving God thanks? What in your life, what do you believe you can thank God for? Now, you may not be in the mood you may ask me, Uncle Kev, why do I have to thank God? Listen now, I may be wrong about this, but I think there is something spiritual to giving God thanks. Now, if you think about it in an earthly way, you may say, Kevin, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. You may not be in the mood right now, but begin giving God thanks. God, thank you for being alive. Thank you for being able to speak. Thank you for being able to walk. Take out time and thank God. And I believe if you continue to do this, I believe your attitude will change bit by bit. Don't only do it one time. Like, Kevin, I did it for 10 seconds and I am still depressed and I hate myself. Listen now. Consistently, willfully, for more time each day, if you can, give God thanks. Now, if you see it in an earthly way, you may say, what is that going to do? Okay, listen now. How about try it? Like, if you never done it before, if it is not wrong, if it is not going to hurt you, why not try it? Why put it down before you even try? Be consistent in it. Give God thanks. Man, there are times when I give God thanks, like, thank you, Jesus, or thank you, Lord. Like, it seems like sometimes, <laughs> it, it seems like sometimes it comes out of my mouth without me even trying. I think I had got into so much of a habit, or maybe I do it a lot. Maybe I thank God so much that at times I give God thanks 
without even thinking about it. Like I could be eating and sometimes I say, <laughs> thank you, Jesus, or something like that. I believe there is something spiritual in giving God thanks and not only thank God when times are good, but thank God when times are bad. Why would I do that, Uncle Kev? Why would I thank God when times are bad? You see, I believe you are looking at it in an earthly way. This is spiritual. So with, I think, most things that are spiritual, it may not make earthly sense. Give God thanks even when you are having a hard time in life. Look now, don't use your earthly mind Transition the way you think from earthly to spiritual. Give God thanks. If you can, time yourself. Maybe you can't do it for an hour a day, but can you do it five minutes a day? Can you do it 10 minutes a day? Hey, can you do it? two minutes a day or three minutes a day. Don't be so quick to point out the bad things that are happening in your life. Oh, I got into a car accident. Oh, I am so sick. Oh, I have cancer. Oh. The world is so bad. Oh, my wife broke up with me. Oh, taxes are so high. Man, stop focusing so much on the negative and focus on the positive. Give God thanks. If you focus on the bad things in your life, why would you expect to feel better? If I focus on evil every day, how would I have joy in that? Think about that. Kevin, I don't know why I am not happy. Well, do you focus on bad things every day? Yes. If you focus on negativity, how can joy come out of that? How? Please tell me. I have problems, right? I believe I do. But I believe much of the time, I make it a practice to focus less on my problems and focus more on the positive. Focus more on God. Focus more on bettering myself. Am I telling you I am happy every day? Not really, but I am not depressed every day. I am not crying every day. I am not bitter or whatever like that every day. Most of the time I am in a positive attitude. Why? Because God's grace, I can say that but because I force myself to think on positive things. 
Most times I watch what I say. Does that make any sense there? So let me stop here. God bless you.